Standard form for a complex number. Do you remember what that is? A plus B I, what you need to remember is that this guy is the <coughs> real part and the B, the coefficient of the I, is your imaginary part. Now, I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Not only do we, are we, not only will I put this video up later, but there are other videos if you look under the playlist for radical expressions. There's also s stuff for complex numbers. <coughs> Watch those videos. And I would say ignore the book because some of the things they try to get you to do, it's just ridiculous. They make it more complicated than it has to be. Let me show you what you can do here with complex numbers. You, you're just, you won't even believe it. This is where you go, mind equals blown. But of course, doing this means that you have to have the ability to read. Can you read and understand symbols? Que say? Negative, negative no, this way. Well, I'm pointing to this guy. What is that? Plus sign. Yes, plus, not multiplication. Some students think that anytime there's parentheses, I've got to multiply this guy. No, it's addition. You add, which means you combine like terms. I can't even. I can't make it easier than this. Combine like terms. The real part is combined negative seven. How about your imaginary part? Minus 37i, box it, you're done. There's nothing else to do here. You're really just combining like terms. That's it. Pretend that the i was x, and you've got that. Now, the only thing that may be different here in terms of what you would do if it were an x is that if it were an x, the x would come first followed by the constant. However, in standard form for a complex number, your real part comes first, then the imaginary part with the minus 37i. We good? Let's do another <coughs> easy example. Negative 5 plus 8i minus the quantity 2 minus 25i. What do you think you should do here? <laughs> Laugh? Chuckle? Distribute the negative. Now, some of you may not need to rewrite this to distribute the negative, but I will, just to help you guys out, especially if you're following along over the World Wide Web. Did I distribute the negative correctly? Yeah. Now we just need to do what? Combine like terms, and what do we get? <coughs> Negative 7 plus 33. Plus 33i. Is there anything else to do with that? Now don't say box like I'm going to count off points if you don't. I don't know what they've told you, but I, I'm not going to count points off if you don't box it. Although sometimes you shouldn't. It's a conspiracy, man. You guys okay with adding and subtracting? Think you're super awesome? Well, I think you're super awesome, too. Nice. How about 6i times 8i? If you multiply this, you would get 48i squared, but you know you can't leave the i squared because it converts to what? It's a negative one, but this is 48 times i squared, right? So this is multiplication, and you end up with negative 48. Is that awesome? All right. Let's see, let's see what else we have. We've got five times the quantity, seven minus twelve i. Let me guess. I've gone crazy on you now, huh? What are you going to do here? Distribute. distribute. How does it distribute? Thirty-five minus sixty i. Is there anything else to do? No. So we're just going to. Box that. Man, this is good. I, I love these problems, right? <laughs> How about 7i times the quantity 2 plus 3i? That's 14i. So we're just distributing here. 
plus 21 i squared. Now, right, this guy right here, this plus <laughs> 21 i squared. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. 21 i squared would become a negative 21, but you have to put things in the correct order, which is real. Negative 21 plus the imaginary part, 14 i.